Let's try to get the setup. English. Gonna select the country. Popped up on its own. Not now. Gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Data and privacy. Gonna go with continue. Migration assistant. We can transfer the information from a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk from a Windows PC. I'm gonna go with not now. Gonna sign into my Apple ID. If you guys do not have your two-step verification on, I highly recommend you to turn that on. It works really seamlessly. I can get the verification code on my Apple Watch, my iPad, my iPhone, and then even on the MacBook. And, you know, it just keeps your account much secure. We've got the name there. Gonna type in the password. I'm gonna go with the ghost because it's October. Oh, what's this? We can, can we like, yeah, we can adjust it and all that. We can also go emoji here camera all that stuff okay let's go with the ghost and we're gonna go continue creating account i actually really like the silver macbook i mean i've been using the space gray for a really long time yeah the silver gives me like the old school my first macbook kind of look which i really like i mean especially how it's so squared off it doesn't look as thin it feels like the other ones kind of like go inwards on the bottom even though like i don't know how to explain it it definitely feels thicker but it might be thinner or it might be the same thickness it's just the way how it's so squared off i think but yeah the speakers these are really nice looking and the keyboard feels great my other macbook had the butterfly kind of keyboards and it was not a good one i mean a dust would go inside of it and it would not type you know this keyboard is so much nicer for sure and i like how it's all black it doesn't go with the silver in between the keys now it's gonna ask me to type in my iphone passcode just to make sure it's still me with all those verifications i like that it's pretty secure so while it's doing that let me grab the power cable and then i'll plug it in so we can see how the magsafe works as well there we go. Got the orange light. And let's see. Look at that. Didn't even move. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm happy. I'm so happy that they bring the MagSafe back. I had a feeling it's coming back, especially how we got the MagSafe on the iPhone. So yeah, I was definitely expecting it. Let's go continue. Enable locations and services. Continue. I'm gonna skip for now. Let's go to continue. Screen time. Set up later. To continue. Enable Ask Siri. I'll do that later. I don't want to set up this part because I feel like my home pod's gonna go off later. Uh, not now. Continue. Let's plug it in a USB C cable. And you can see it still charges, but I'm probably not gonna use my older. 15 inch MacBook power adapter to charge it. I'll just plug in the USB C to the new power adapter. Let's go continue. Touch ID. We can set it up now or later. I'm going to go now. Pretty responsive. And I like how it didn't say that I should hit continue before doing the second part. So it did it right after the initial part. Apple Pay. We're going to hit continue. It's going to ask me to verify all the cards. I'm going to go set up later. I'm going to go dark mode or auto, whichever one you prefer. And you know, since this whole setup, I haven't really noticed the notch. I just looked up and then noticed the notch. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be mixed with the bar over here. Okay, would you like to use the location? Sure, but here it is. Let's see if I can see the camera here. Oh yeah, that is so much nicer. So yeah, that's what the camera looks like. The first things I like to do with the new MacBooks is go over to system preferences and then into the trackpad and make sure I do the tap click, scroll, all this stuff, make sure I have them all on because I do use them. And then now I can just, you know, tap like this. I don't have to push it. Let's see what kind of um, updates we have. Do we have any updates? Yep, we have an update available. So we're gonna have that installed as well. But overall, this looks really nice. We got the battery here. It says it's at 86%, 51 minutes until fully charged. Yeah, I'm gonna go get Final Cut Pro installed, Affinity Photo, all those stuff, I gotta get them installed. I actually like the way this MacBook looks and I'm glad I got it now instead of waiting for the M1 Max that was gonna arrive on December. This is still going to be a very powerful machine to be fair. Like, I mean, I was completely fine with the M1. It's just I wanted a bigger screen. M1 Pro, I think it's going to be amazing. Only regret is not having one terabyte, but I'd rather have this MacBook today and use some external storage SSD because they're still pretty good. And I've been using it with my 512 gigabyte 2018 MacBook. So this one should be just fine, but I'll have so much more power. Okay, I just heard the speakers and they're amazing. Like, hear this out. It's really loud and clear.
So yeah, these MacBook speakers are amazing for sure. Really happy. Honestly, this is probably the best MacBook I've ever had. I can't say the same when I upgraded from my 2014 to the 2018 because of the fact that I got all the way down to just having USB-C. All my ports were gone. Whereas this one, I'm getting such a nice display. I'm getting the USB-C ports. I'm getting HDMI and SD card slot because I use cameras right so i i need my sd card slot and i don't i no longer have to have that dongle with me all the time because if i'm trying to transfer some footage from my gopro i have to use an sd card having the sd card slot right here is amazing because i use sd card a lot thanks again so much for watching if you guys are new consider subscribing see you guys next time